In Luke 15, Jesus tells the parable of the prodigal son. Now, many people, when they think of the prodigal son, they think of only in terms of someone who has strayed away and has returned. But the word prodigal simply means like wasteful or or uh, spending uh, without uh, discretion or control. So it's like to be out of control, basically. So it's not what the man did in terms of leaving home that made him a prodigal, but it's what he did with his father's possession while he was away that made him prodigal. He wasted his father's possession. He spent everything that he had. My mama used to say, uh, don't spend all your money uh, in the same place, or don't burn all your money at one time. Save some from a, for a rainy day. He obviously spent without any uh, discipline or sense of self-control. And so, uh, many of us live our life like that. You know, we we live our life riotously. We live it without self-control. We have no sense of stewardship and management of our lives. We're just out there really bad. And one day, if we don't stop and get control of our lives, we're going to be like him. We're going to hit rock bottom. We're going to hit rock bottom. We're going to waste all we had, and we're going to spend all we have, and we will not have anything to show for it. So what are you doing with the life that God is giving you? Are you wasting this life that he's giving you? Or are you spending it wisely? Are you making the best choices that you can make? Are you uh, putting yourself uh, in position where uh, you can get some type of uh, return or some type of reward or, or reaping better fruit in your life? because you are sowing better, you are planting differently. You know, this man um, hit rock bottom, something he never experienced before. But the good thing in this story is he, he realized that he messed up. He realized he, he was better off at home. But unfortunately, it takes us to hit rock bottom before we realize what we had at home was best for us. So if you're out there searching today, I want to caution you that whatever you're looking for might just be at home already. And so uh, learn how to appreciate what you have. Appreciate the people in your life. You know, appreciate the job you have or the friends you have. You know, your parents, appreciate them. Uh, because life is is valuable and is to be cherished. And we have to begin by gratitude. If he had appreciated his daddy, he would have never left home. But it goes to show that sometimes in life, we just have to learn lessons the hard way. Bless y'all.